Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included in the Ultimate Base 2.0. We are here on the third planetoid. In the previous episode we prepared it for Marie's arrival in order to set up the infrastructure. In between the episodes I took myself the liberty of filling up the oxygen mask which means all of this stuff here is actually now built. The electrolyzer, a gas pump and a liquid pump. Now I noticed we are already kind of running out of algae. I brought about 5 tons with me and we're already down to 2500 kilograms. So in the long run we are gonna need a different solution and I figured we could actually use the electrolyzer and the water. The problem was that it comes out at 70 degrees in temperature and is not gonna be sustainable for the future. However, what we could theoretically do is just continue this line. So let's imagine we're gonna bring this all the way down here. And then we're actually gonna run it through the 22 degrees water in order to cool down. So maybe let's go down to this point and right here we could go ahead and switch to radiant gas pipes. Looks as though we don't really have a good material. Maybe we can just use the gold in order to do that. And we are gonna make sure we are running this through for long enough. And then at this point we're just gonna bring it back up and release it with a gas vent. So that could be our solution for the foreseeable future. Until we run out of algae, I'm gonna interrupt this line, but Marie can still go ahead and actually build everything. As you can see, there is a lot of work ahead of us, but I want this to be a chill episode because once again, I need to take it slow with the recording at the moment to preserve my energy for real life. I still fancied to continue here a little bit because it is really interesting to now actually see this function in a less stressful manner than it usually is. And with the oxygen mask available, Marie has now the capability of doing lots and lots of work and I do not really have to worry about much. Every now and then we will have to fix the oxygen mask. I wonder what else do we need? Just the worn oxygen mask actually, so it seems as though they can fix it without using up any materials. Yeah, in this case I'm just gonna set this recipe to forever and Marie is gonna fix the oxygen mask whenever we need to. Considering this, we might be interested in keeping this water pool alive. We have plenty of water that we can use. We also have sand in this world, which means we should be able to convert the salt water. Later on, once we actually get down to the lower bombs, we will have to be careful. There is some uranium and I'm not sure. We might need different protections to actually deal with that. But for now, I just want to see Marie working a little bit and I guess in the meantime we could send over a couple more rovers to actually help out with that. Especially with the material collection, the rovers are actually capable of collecting the materials and bringing it nearby the rocket. So why not actually go ahead and set up a storage area here. What we can go ahead and do is set up an automatic dispenser for instance, collect the materials here on the top. Can I swing this around? Yes indeed. And we're just gonna let the rovers do the job. One more thing you let me know is that you can actually deconstruct the trailblazer modules for some refined metal and I believe it is 400 kilograms. So in theory what I could have done is send two trailblazer modules and use those in order to build one rocket platform. This would have been a much easier solution. But yeah, I guess at this point let's just let Marie do her thing here a little bit. Maybe there are some more commands we can give to Atu. He's currently still building and digging. Oh, looks like we actually ran out of coal here. So good that we discovered that. What we want to do is grab some coal here. Um, I have this at 20 tons. I think I'm going to ship over the entirety of the 20 tons. How are we doing otherwise here? There's still polluted water. Uh, what else is at risk of running out? I don't think anything else. I'm actually going to kill off a bunch of these guys here. Not those guys. But that reminds me, look at the fish tank. Oh my gosh, and there are so many fish at each given spot. I mean, just check this out. It's like five fish in the same spot here, even more. Just gotta love it. Anyhow, let's see this get filled up with coal. The interesting part here is, yeah, I have this at priority nine and this guy here also priority nine. So what we should change is have this at priority eight. This way the automatic dispenser is also gonna do its job. However, I figured if I have it at priority 9, I can always decide how many materials are actually getting transferred over there. So as soon as I empty this chest, the auto sweeper is still going to bring over the stuff to the conveyor loader and we will not be transferring the entirety of our coal reserves. 
You might also have realized I removed the material colors mod once again because all the comments that I got regarding this topic were in a negative way. I do like the material color mod but it might be best to start the playthroughs with it so that the colors aren't all over the place so I understand that. It was not quite appealing to everyone. Printing pot has something, a bunch of omelets. Uh, how much food do we still have here? Enough. So I think I'm actually gonna spawn that with Marie. We should be able to set up a mini pot right there and actually spawn the omelets this way. And of course Marie is sleeping again. Come on, do something. The Archie might be running out sooner than I want. But yeah, I think she's making some progress here with the piping system at least. And we don't even need this ladder. Let's see, we have to activate this. Marie, can you do that? Okay, she can actually do it. Good thing we don't need a researcher for this. But yeah, once we actually get the situation under control here, I would like to send another duplicant, preferably Jean, who is then going to utilize the telescope and everything, but there's still a long ways to go. First and foremost, I want to take care of the terrain and making sure we can actually keep our water reserves intact. So I'm gonna spend a good while just observing what Marie is doing. And I guess occasionally we check out our other planetoids to see if everything is alright. For instance, right here. Yeah, we've already cooled down again. Both volcanoes are actually active at this point. I believe we are actually losing a little bit of coal. So it could be useful to actually make use of the natural gas here. Now that we actually brought over some more coal to the second planetoid, everything is running again. And there we go, in another 11 cycles we will have some more natural gas. So natural gas generators could be a good supplement to our coal usage. And there we go, Marie leaving the base again. This is good. The oxygen mask definitely doesn't hold as long as an Atmo suit, but it's still gonna make everything much less painful. Oh, wait a second. Are you serious? I pumped in too much oxygen. Yeah, look at this. We don't have enough carbon dioxide here to keep the ration box fresh all the time. Oh jeez, this is actually an enormous problem. We have to make sure to rectify this as soon as possible before we lose all the omelets. Actually, let me see. <gasps> oh no, some of them are already stale. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, this is actually really bad. Let's see, can I keep the compostable in here as well? Uh, come on, compostable? No? Ah, there it is, with its own category. Yeah, compostable, I wanna keep this in here below the water. This essentially means we only have 2,600 grams of omelets left in this world, which makes me really, really sad. I mean, 32 kilograms are stale. Yeah, this is really bad. We have to prepare another rocket with food. We actually have tons of barbecue that we could send over. So I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill up this chest here with a barbecue instead of omelets. And I believe I might have to swap it to all. So not only the crew, but everyone can bring stuff over here. Is there anything else we need to transfer? I don't really think so. Yeah, I think all we need is a little bit of algae as well to survive, though preferably we need to find another solution very soon for that. There we go. Oh, Frankie, are you hurt? My boy, why aren't you taking care of yourself? I guess I'm gonna have to send him to a triage cot myself. There we go, 100 kilograms of 98% fresh barbecue. That should be good enough. We are actually gonna send this rocket right away. Should we send Jean this time around? Well, let's first change the destination to Growista. Now I quickly wanna check, is Frankie pissed still? I don't think he is, he's back to normal. So I'm gonna send Frankie and we should be ready to launch this bad boy. Wonderful, good luck Frankie, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, first thing he does is take a poop. Okay, hopefully you didn't poop in the suit. No, he didn't. Oh, check this out. We already have uh, plenty of carbon dioxide here. I wonder if there's an easier way to kind of flush out this area. I mean, Frankie, what are you doing? Y you cannot really sleep here on the floor. Oh, well, I guess he's gonna be good for one round trip. Anyways, let's place the ration box right here. This should be permanently carbon dioxide. At least I hope so. There's a little bit of chlorine, which is also fine. Yes, build that ration box and we're gonna copy over the settings and then get rid of this ration box. Okay, yeah, it didn't leave us with much edible food, but we're now bringing along the barbecue, so I do not worry too much. Uh, where did Marie go now? Ah, she's actually building the solar panels, doing something useful. Wonderful.
Looks like Frankie actually already arrived at Growista. Wonderful. Gonna set this to all. And he should automatically bring out the food. Actually, I'm not 100% sure. Are we storing the barbecue? Yes, we are. We're storing all the food. Oh, actually, he is carrying the barbecue. I connected the second oxygen mask so we can be a little bit more efficient about everything. Let me actually see that we already... Yeah, we already brought all of the barbecue. Oh no, he's now storing the algae we still had from Growista. And he took one of the oxygen masks with him. This is not good. Frankie, hold on a second. Can I make you go here without the mask? Well, maybe I can make you unequip it. Yeah, unequip suit. And then you go back up to your rocket. Okay, wonderful. I think we can just go ahead and start it up again. Now that we brought 408,000 kilocalories of barbecue to this place. Holy cow. So if we change this to crew again, and uh, we should also be able to change the location, go there and just launch it, I guess. Uh, Frankie, are you gonna do that? Yes, just make your way back home. And now we can say we want to deliver another suit and we can grab this oxygen mask. This should work out. And here we should have no problems with the atmosphere. Since it's carbon dioxide, this should stay fresh indefinitely. Great. I'm gonna take my mush bars and actually compost them. And I'm also gonna take the... Um, no, actually we're gonna keep the omelets. They're still fresh and good. All right then, Marie, let's see some efficiency. Get out there and actually start digging a little bit. Cool, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, it's still gonna take an incredibly long amount of time. However, if we start sending over some rovers, at least we won't have to deal with the item collection that much. Let me also check the power. Yeah, don't looks like we are using lots of power all the time. We just have to keep the water levels here in mind. And then I guess it's soon over with the Archie from this diffuser. So we're gonna connect these two pipes and actually let some oxygen flow in. Right now I'm just using one of my systems to get rid of the hydrogen. We could also use it for power, but I don't really think it's gonna be worth it. And if we check this out, oxygen... Well, it doesn't really come in very hot at the moment, but everything is going to heat up at a certain point. If we check this out, maybe we also want to put the batteries into a different location. What do you think? Could we send over yet another duplicate to actually help out Marie? And also, is there more stuff we can get rid of? I mean, I don't really think I'm gonna be dependent on this little part of oxygen, so we can actually start connecting the ladders here. And I just want to make sure we actually preserve this area where I'm producing the oxygen for the masks. It's gonna take a lot of cycles to actually do everything. Maybe we can speed the process up a little bit. Marie already has some nice morale. We're gonna go straight into hazmat digging so that goes even faster. And maybe some improved strength, we can take that as well. Is there anything else we desperately need? We need to be careful. Maybe at some point we have to scrub her again in order to gain the mechatronics engineering skill. But for now the digging was definitely the most important part. Let's give Atu something else to do here. I think at this point I would like to connect a few parts. Man, this polluted water here at the bottom has become really annoying, I have to say. It seems as though I can sweep it up all the time and it never really disappears. Oh, Frankie is actually back and he's already complaining about food again. Okay, I'm sorry, Frankie, you can uh, get out of there. And I'm actually gonna send him to bed and I'm not gonna touch him for a couple of cycles so he can uh, chill down again. I mean, he was already starting to get pissed off again at me. Look at Marie go. She actually does a really brilliant job with the Abyssalite that usually takes a really long time to dig up. I think she was definitely the right pick. Jean would also have been a good pick. But Marie was exchangeable because we still have Ren doing the exact same job as her on the main base. Great job, Marie. Uh, oh no. Do we have someone trapped? One or more duplicant is really hungry. Uh, Jean, Frankie. Yeah, it's probably Frankie, but he is going to eat something now. Wait, Frankie, what are you doing? Ah, he's actually eating in the clinic. <laughs> well, main thing I guess is he's going to survive. Well, yeah, one mask is being used up extremely quickly. So you actually want two of these dogs per duplicant. Yes, Marie, you're like a machine. I'm so proud of you. Wow, check this out. Marie can actually still upgrade her skills. She has really come far. By the way, in the previous episode, I hovered over here. Time played 259 hours. Unfortunately, this is not extremely representative because I leave the game running while editing my stuff. 
and sometimes I just have it paused. I believe if you do this with the menu up, it doesn't count towards the time, but if you have it just paused, it does. And so yeah, don't worry, you are not gonna have to play 256 hours to get to cycle 885. It's good to see even after a couple of cycles the water isn't being used up that quickly. However, we still have to make sure that we keep on filling this up. Maybe that is something I want to prepare already. Like if we get a liquid pump in here, I should be able to just pump this all the way up. Let's see, we have to be a little bit sneaky here. We want to get into the room this way, then maybe hop over here and release the water at this spot. I definitely don't want to go too high otherwise. The electrolyzer might be submerged in water. I increased the priority of this contraption a little bit. All we have to do is set up wires. I also want to build this at priority 6 and we should be able to connect this pump. Shouldn't take too long to pump everything up. And right now with our current load I think we are far from going over the 1000 watts power limit. Man Marie, look at you go! You better grab another oxygen mask soon. And there we go, she continues working right away. I think we can trust her to actually do a good job. The durability of this mask is at 53%, so I would say the masks hold about 10 cycles before they have to be repaired. But once again, they don't seem to be using up any precious material to get repaired. Alrighty, we are back. It is quite a few cycles later and one discovery that I made is I have been using up my coal primarily because I enabled the switch. I installed the switch so I can quickly power up my rockets before launch and I forgot to shut it off again. So ever since I disabled the switch again, we are accumulating coal without issues. But the more interesting part, let's have a look at Growista and you can see I've been busy. What I basically did is let things play out a tiny little bit and I just let Marie do her thing and she did a phenomenal job, I have to say. Also, we're not running low on oxygen or water, everything seems to be fine. Furthermore, the temperatures are absolutely fine. I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out so far. I however did not make as much progress here on the second planetoid. One of the suggestions, by the way, was to use ethanol as a cooling liquid instead of the brine and the polluted water and everything. Ethanol seems to have a great heat capacity of 2.4, contrary to polluted water. No, actually polluted water is much better. And thermal conductivity of polluted water is 0.5. So never mind that idea, ethanol is much worse as a cooling liquid. But yeah, I think in the next episode we're finally gonna tap into the oil reservoirs here. So that is gonna be my primary goal for the next episode. Another tip you gave me in the comment section is that we could actually go ahead and use orbital material modules too. So let's say we want to build an additional module here and what we want to have is the orbital cargo module. What we can do with this is load it up with materials and then send it down to the planetoid from orbit. We don't have to land or anything, it's just like a rover module but it's gonna send materials and the duplicants there on the surface can just open it up. That is so good and convenient, so it's gonna be much easier to maybe colonize the third planetoids than my strategy there. But yeah, essentially we still did it, we're making good progress. I made one layer here, so the materials are being dumped on this floor and I have one line to actually start collecting everything. If we have a look at the radiation, it is actually not that bad. I suspect as soon as we start digging up the tiles, the radiation is gonna become much worse. At least that's what I imagine it to be. We can also see there is the aluminium volcano, so we will be getting refined aluminium from here. And I also wanna figure out what we have here, so it's maybe finally time to open this up. Let me go ahead and give this a little bit of a priority. And I wanna figure out what type of geyser or volcano we have over there. I suspect this could be the gold volcano if we are lucky. There we go. No, it's actually the salt water guys here, of course. That also makes a lot of sense. So I guess one of the next things I would like to do is actually use the telescope. That would be a dignified way to wrap up the episode. So maybe let's think about sending Chin over. We could do this with two battery modules, no problem. Next up, I discovered this gas output fitting. So I wonder, could I just use that in order to get rid of my carbon dioxide? I guess that actually doesn't make sense. We would need an intake instead of an output here. So gas intake fitting, yes. And we place this right here. We get rid of one of the storage bins here and then we replace it with a small pump. 
and this way we should be able to get rid of the carbon dioxide that's in here. All we need to make this work is a signal switch as well that I'm gonna install right here at the bottom. I'm gonna grab some of these automation wires and let me see the power. We're also gonna need to relay the power. Yeah, let's probably just bring this along here and I guess that will make it fairly easy to get rid of the carbon dioxide. There we go. People are already taking care of things. We can install the signal switch as well. That goes right there. And then we are going to need the mini gas pump that we're going to place right here. Yeah, that should be good. And of course, we want to connect the two gas pipe slots. Automation wire is on the top and the power is already hooked up this way. Since we are still using algae for our oxygen production, which in the future I want to change for my rockets, obviously, I'm going to be slightly careful. I just want to make sure that we're pumping out the carbon dioxide as needed. Now, how is this being expelled here on the top? I don't really see that. Yeah, not 100% sure. Right now, it just looks like it's uh, getting stuck. Pipe is blocked. Allows gases to be pumped into rocket storage via pipes. Ah, okay, so we need especially a storage for it. That is really unfortunate, but I guess we can live with it. There's still enough oxygen in here in order to survive one round trip for Jean, so let's send her over. All she has to do is use the telescope to discover the surroundings of the third planetoid. If we check out the star map, yeah, we can explore all of these basically and see if we can spot something else interesting. Probably not around this planetoid, we'll see. For some strange reason, nobody wants to pick up that Atmo suit. Not 100% sure what's going on. I'm just gonna go ahead and send the rocket either way. Gonna change Jean to be the pilot, crew, change the destination to Growista, and let's just freaking do it. Jean is tagging along. Oh my gosh, the lag is getting real. And the loading times have increased ever since we discovered the third planetoid. But there we go, Jean is on her way. You can unequip the suit. You should have enough fresh air here on the top. We have some barbecue too. Life is pretty good right now, I have to say. In the meantime, Mary is still making some progress. I'm so proud of her. She basically took care of the entirety of the base herself. And it wasn't even that agonizing because I was basically just watching a movie to do so. Jean is already halfway there as soon as she arrives at Growista and starts exploring space with the telescope. I think we can wrap it up for today. I feel like we've done a pretty good job. Of course, we weren't speedrunning it, but it was extremely relaxing and I didn't have to worry about anything at all in the meantime. Also, just to show you, the system with the volcano has been working the entire time and of course, we did experience a whole bunch of eruptions. No problem. At some point, I had a solidified tile here. All I had to do is tell one of my duplicates to dig it up and then we were gradually getting rid of the materials again. So, no problem. There we go, we have arrived. Let me quickly check. Jean is not wearing the suit, that is good. So I'm just gonna wait for her to do the pooping and eating. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be Jeremy. But after that, she can get out of the rocket and hopefully do some uh, space exploration. Also, did you grab a bed automatically? Maybe I should assign her a bed. And we're also gonna assign her a mess table here, just to be sure that actually functions. Of course, she's actually spending some time near the mini pod right now. Yeah, she really has way too much downtime. I'm gonna send her over here into this schedule. And then when she gets back... Oh, wait, you, you can still sleep. Okay, wonderful. That actually worked. Fresh new day. Now, please, everyone, do your jobs. Jean is picking up an oxygen mask and she is researching space. Wonderful. I would say with that out of the way, we can wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.